Hello everyone, welcome to Bangkok. We have arrived after our two hour flight and it's now I think 10 a.m. local time. It is 24 Celsius. It's very chilly, it's gloomy, there's no sun. Is this uh, Thailand's winter? Probably January, right? Yeah, it is. Surprisingly, Thailand has winter time. So we are going here for an escape from Malaysia's hot weather. So yeah, we'll be here for four days and more winter's coming up really soon. My annual trip here, I come here every year and this is the one since I came back to this airport, Subanabumi. So you can see the interior is actually very nice and modern. Very clean and slick, metal, glass everywhere and very good beauty free shopping if you want to buy that. We don't have immigration out now and probably got for some desserts. So I'll do another vlog just for desserts, so do look out for that also. Checking in and welcome to Bangkok City. You can see the place is so bustling. So many things happen. I'm so excited for the food mostly. So our first stop now we're gonna have lunch at Thai food cuisine. Right now it's not really crowded. You can see that the street is quite empty, probably because the festive season is over in January. Like there's hardly anything, no bazaars, no no markets. Here is our room for our four days, three nights stay. This is it. Wow, we have a nice picture on the wall. A hand-drawn landscape of Bangkok, I think. Contemporary feel to this place. Everything's all hard-edged. The is huge. Yeah, it's massive. And a very strange blue blob carpet. <laughs> yeah, but this is it. Our place to stay. famous mall in Bangkok and I've been here a few times so I really like how every year they change the decorations right now it's actually a crystal theme for the festival of lights which is really nice lighting yeah it's a crystal theme with a geo of multi-color and it has a very nice space theme so I'm really loving this check it out man so really futuristic This is a very nice street full of glitter lights. So right now we're actually walking towards a religious site. I think it's a Buddha temple because my mom wants to see it. So we're actually walking there. Not too far, probably like a 10 minute walk. And the weather so far has been really nice, cloudy, not hot at all. It's really cool and suitable for walking outdoors. So you don't actually need to carry an umbrella. I'm liking it so far. <laughs>
are so um, cheerful. Over here, we are outside Central World. They are having Christmas decorations all over the place here with nice neon lights, Christmas characters, and also places for you to take photo at. See, the sky is turning really grey. It's like about to rain, I think. Surprisingly, they're still having Christmas decorations even in January, but yep, ushering the new year in. in the mall for shopping. I don't know what I'm gonna do, probably spend a few hours here, my sister especially buying female clothing, they are really crazy about it. You can spend hours shopping, whereas I don't really find much man clothing. You can see over here there's a street full of bazaar food. I the mall itself is about six floors, really big. Let's see what we have here. I'm not sure if I actually find anything. I was looking to find more shirts like this, soft material shirts with patterns, stripes, floral maybe. Bye. Okay, I finally found where is the men's clothes. It's over here at level four. You can see everything here is all mostly women clothing, but only one section for the men. Oh man, so little choices. Let's go. Yeah. You even saw them selling bucks like crickets and even like silkworms or 
you pass, I'm not sure, but a lot of weird things you can find at this market, especially in the whole Thailand. It's interesting stuff. We have reached the interesting section of the market in Rot 5. This is the antique warehouse section. So basically, there's actually a warehouse selling antique items like chairs, tables, posters, decorations of the antique nature. And even on this street behind me, everything is all vintage too. So there's an old helicopter here, which I'm not sure what era is it from. But continuing down, you can see it's so vintage. So this is Sloth Cav's world in the hotel. And he does not want to accompany me to 7-Eleven because he is busy slothing right now. Ah, <laughs> oh, so tired. Yeah, yeah, you just lay here until the flight. Go to this cafe to try, but then uh, an event appeared at the square where we're going to. Actually, the Bangkok's fourth art festival, which I think is the fourth year, so they are selling arts and craft items around us. And as we know, festivals and bazaars pop up in Bangkok like every day. There's always a festival. Around me, I'm seeing like a lot of handicrafts, like earrings, and also maybe necklaces, handmade bags, like craft. This square is really popular. In my last video, I was also here. There was a festival right at this point. And it's very good because I live nearby this place. The hotel is just right next door. There, living in the hot spot. Right, tonight is our last night here in Bangkok. I can't believe three days have passed by so fast. And we're leaving tomorrow morning, so yeah, I'm enjoying the night the night stroll in this sky bridge. And again, usually on Saturday night, it's very crowded, more crowded than usual. Also, guys, so many people, never ending stream. Wow, the shop is super packed. Japanese shop, Kenshin Izakaya, Japanese food. And on a Saturday night, so many people. Mango beer, passion fruit beer, tomato beer. That's crazy. They look so strange. Yeah. Do they taste nice? No idea. But it's all Japanese brands, We're right? Yeah, this is Asahi. I see. Going in. Large tanks of beer. So nicely decorated. Lavender beer. Check it out. The color is darker than I imagined. It's really dark purple. Whereas this, this is passion fruit beer. You can see the color is nice and golden, but mine really dark. Cheers, everyone. Yes. Cheers. Back to our room, it's so messy, all my stuff here. And this is literally my haul that I bought from the markets. I have bought many of these kind of um, open collar shirts with the striped baseball jersey kind of look. I'm so obsessed with this now, so I bought a few. This one in white and, um, and even the one I'm wearing now, you can see. Yeah, I am literally obsessed with open collar striped shirts. So yeah, this is technically the last night that we have in Bangkok. We weren't here for a long time. We'll go back tomorrow afternoon and back to reality. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I know this may not have been the best Bangkok vlog ever. It's actually pretty abrupt and some parts I didn't really record because I was just too tired. Hence, I actually do snap some of them in my Instagram. So don't forget to check out my Instagram account and you'll see some of my Insta stories there too. So yeah, we're gonna head back now. Continue our packing, we bought so much snacks here you guys a little bit we have some local thai snacks here like i think this is lay but it's in thai some kind of like chicken grilled 
flavor. More snacks, prawn crackers, and this thing which is a famous peanut peanut biscuits. Very popular. A lot, but a lot of things. This is it. I'll see you guys back at home and don't forget to subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Thank you.